G'day, it's Flacco. So I'm gonna be showing you how to move to Windows from Linux. Now, why would you want to do this? <laughs> well, there's a lot of reasons to do it. Some people just simply don't get to Linux. I don't see why Linux is awesome. So that was a horrible, horrible person who commented on this video. Make a video on moving to Windows. Linux sucks. <laughs> I'd just like to say to you, no. I will never, ever make a video on how to move. So the first thing that you would want to do is open up your DuckDuckGo and then... I what? You don't use duck. The first thing that you want to do is open up your Google and then you type in download Windows 10. Now because you're on Linux, you get the ISO download and just click on the first link, whatever the Microsoft one that comes up with. Put your edition as Windows 10. Put the language as English. If you have a different language, maybe put it as that language. Then as soon as you get to this page, click that 64-bit download. Unless you're weird and you want to go with that 32-bit one. Click on save file, go OK, and then it starts downloading. Now you might be asking, What? I can't do that because for some reason I installed it with command line and I don't know how to get Firefox. Well, I'm so glad you came to this video. Let's just cancel that download. Right click and go copy link location. Do you do this from like another computer or your phone or something like that? Put that into like bit.ly or something like that and get a bit of a shorter link. Copy that link, go to your terminal, go to, I don't know, maybe your downloads, and then go wget, and then you type the link. And then it starts downloading the Windows 10 ISO. It's called this file, so you're going to have to rename it. And it's done! Finally! Oh, that took very long. This depends on what distribution and what package manager you use. I'm currently running the Arch kernel, so if I go uname-a, you can see it's Linux, uh, it just says Linux. What was this? What was saying? What was saying? Oh, um, um, uh, my version, a good version. oh, well, just take my word for it. I can't seem to fake around. <laughs> I can do Pac Man. Pac Man. And then it shows me that I can. Uh, no operation. So it means it's installed anyway. If you're on Debian based release like Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and like the other 50,000 of the Debian releases, you're going to have to run a few other commands to get this working. To start with, I'm gonna show you the Debian way. Now this here currently is a Ubuntu release. It says Ubuntu, in Ubuntu. It says Ubuntu here. To download raw USB on Ubuntu or Debian, all you have to do is first add the apt repository, press enter. And then ignoring those errors there, you just go sudo apt update. And then you go to sudo apt install raw USB. And you press enter and then it installs it for you and then you can follow the tutorial. Ignore these lines right here. Since you're going to be moving to Windows, I'm not going to bother showing you how to fix them anyway. Ah, fine. I'll show you how to fix them. sudo nano slash edc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash mariadb dot list. Take this first line here and take this last line here. Comment those out. Save the file. Control X, Y, enter. And then run your update command again. There we go. And then just simply to download war USB, sudo apt install war USB dash y. And that's installed. Now to do it like the real men. Let's pop onto Arch. Now Arch based releases include Manjaro, Turgos, Arch Linux, Black Arch, Arch Bang, some other, other Arch releases, whatever that is. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to manually build the program. And to do this, I usually use the program Yay. It's uh, yet another Yay Yurt. And that's like an AUR manager or something. But a lot of people don't really have this command by default. So what I'm going to do is something crazy. I'm going to actually uninstall yay. Just like that. I'm going to show you that I actually don't have the command there installed. And actually I can't um, install it again. Because it, I don't know where the yay is. I'm going to actually show you how to build the program yay. So all you have to do is do the command git. Well, actually, if you don't have the command clip, you just a sudo pacman negibs git to get that. All you have to do is go git clone https colon slash slash aur dot arch linux dot org slash yay dot git. Once you're done downloading those files, go cd yay, and then you go this lovely command make pkg dash si. Make sure you're not the root user to do this command. You have to be the normal user to it. Press enter on that. Press enter on that, and as you can see, we have the command yay, and it's doing updates. I don't want to do yeah. I have to go yay. Dash S Woe USB. You can't run a sudo, otherwise bad things happen. Press enter, press enter, press enter. And that's it there. It is finished installing. We have the command woe USB. Now, how do we then take this um, CD dot dot? How do I take this horrible, horrible Windows file, this disgusting Windows file, and how do I put that on a USB? Now, the thing is, I don't actually have a USB. <laughs> 
that's big enough. I have a two gigabyte USB, but Windows is like five gigabytes. I do have an external hard drive that is plugged in, which is this one here. This is the external hard drive. Now, the cool thing about Linux, it it doesn't care what you use. You can use a USB, you can use an external hard drive, you can, you can use an internal hard drive, you can put a waffle inside your disk drive and it'll properly write to it. The command is also the same. All you have to do is sudo wo USB dash dash device. Well, this is the file that we just downloaded. So you can just, you can just go uh, two W's file or what you can do if you downloaded it like through the browser you can open up your file manager go to your downloads and then you have the file here it'll be called windows 10 or something and then you can just click and drag that into your terminal but i'm not going to do that so this is the file here and then you just go to disk slash dev slash sdc for this one make sure you just do the normal sdc you don't do sdc one but it's going to be different for you be careful with this command this command can break your system once you have this you just do dash dash tgt dash fs target file system ntfs press enter and now if you're on a usb this can take a very long time the very last step which is writing grub or something like that can take a very long time but just be patient it's okay sometimes it can take like two hours just let it do its thing don't stop it don't be like me just be patient. Now, if you run into the error where it says that it's mounted, like as you can see here, all you have to do it tells you the mount point at the end. If it doesn't have one, it means it's not mounted. But you go sudo u mount, and then you go um, the name of the drive, oh, the partition, so sdc1 for me, slash dev slash sdc1, and then unmount that, and then you just do sdc2. And as you can see, if I do lsblk, it shows that they're not actually mounted. And all those commands are the exact same on um, Debian and Arch releases. I'm not sure for those uh, CentOS, Fedora, and the Red Hat based releases. But all you have to do is you have to download the WoE USB, W-O-E USB. And as soon as you get that downloaded, you can run the same commands that I did. And it should be just a little bit of researching to get that done. And I really hope this video helped everybody here who has watched it because it took me so long to try to figure out how to do this when I was new to Linux. It was so much researching. There were so many bogus articles that I had to follow. Oh, that's disgusting. I really hope this video has helped you. And if it's helped you so much, just click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it so much. And if you have any other issues with Linux or Minecraft server related sort of stuff, just put something down in the comments and I'll be happy to make a video on that. Just make sure like no one else has made a video. Like if there's 50 people who have made the same video, I'm not going to do that. But I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.